Uh, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of You Know What It Is. It's Austria, where we are attacking. I'm going to go beat up the Santo right now. That's basically that's basically my goal. Um, the reason why, by the way, the reason why, if you guys haven't figured out, is I just need to, like, start taking over some of these regions so that they don't... So that when I actually do gain the great Casa Spelli, I don't have to take over these little tiny stupid regions. I can just deal with the actual main regions. Which is kind of what I want to do. Alright, let's see. Who are your allies again? If they're anywhere nearby, I'm going to declare war and fight them. Oh, they're all over there, and they don't even matter in this war, but... Anyways, last episode, as you guys know, we got our, our butt smoked by the, uh, by the, um, French troops. I'm... I'm pretty mad, people. Like, I'm, I'm pretty mad. Like, that was a humiliating defeat right there. I, it wasn't even, it wasn't, it wasn't like the French were going to lose if we did not have, like... If we did not have, like, army conscription problems, we would probably win that battle. But, for some reason, our game has decided that, oh, we do not get many soldiers. And we do not get, like, constant, you know, good soldiers being built. Which annoys me. So, we're going to deal with that. Egypt is apparently in a civil crisis. Uh, don't really care. <laughs> don't really care about Egypt. As I've said and pointed out many, many times, I don't really care. Okay, um, but right now we're licking our wounds for like the sixth and seventh time to the point where, uh, like, I want to know, is that mostly just manpower or is that also sea power included? Uh, capital ships, very little, that's 60%. Uh, Germany, 70%. Okay, Austria, Hungary, 49%. Yeah, so they're basically like, they're basically like double the amount of troops I have, just naturally. Okay, let me destroy those two units. Yeah, but we're actually going to start increasing our actual military realistic power. I usually don't do this. Like, I usually don't actually focus my efforts on building soldiers, but it's actually become that bad. Like, honestly, it's become that bad. I've never had a game where, where like, these people just stink at creating, like, good soldiers that we need to fight in wars. So let's see, what do we need for each one of these guys? We need lots of cannons, lots of cannons, lots of cannons, lots of cannons, lots of cannons. Yep, lots of cannons usually wins out. So just keep building cannons until until the end of days, basically. Uh, Santo, that's cute, but get out of my land. I'm not exactly in the most happiest moods right now. And your presence is just going to annoy me. Okay, go combine with these guys. And our war goal right now is a little region, and I know I'm only taking one region right now, but that's all I really want is the Yokopa states. So that when we, so that when we actually, is this the Yokopa states? It's like one region province. Yokopa, there it is, right there. That's the Yokopa states. The reason why I'm taking it now is just so that I don't have to take little tiny stupid states later, because you don't want to, you don't want to be in this game and just taking and having to be taking little tiny states for anything. You guys are going to give me military access. Yes. Because that is really stupid. Let's just say that. Alright, you guys. Just go take the little state right there. And... Alright. We got the fifth largest army in the world. So we're not... We're not doing terrible, but... We're getting our... We're getting smoked by, like, most people. Which is kind of annoying. I'm not going to deny. It is kind of annoying. Austria, Hungary. Do we recognize Italy? Yes, we do. We must reconcile with Italy. Yep. And this is what I was talking about, people. Even with... Oh, wow. I'm actually surprised the two Sicilies actually stayed independent during this time. That usually never happens! Okay, but... Actually, Italy is not completely united. Apparently, the two Sicilies was able to maintain... Okay, one second, guys. Okay, sorry about that, people. I had to do something. So... Yes, we're going to be attacking. Let's finish up the attack. Let's get the actual war goal. So we start getting like massive 2% in our favor. Uh, we can intervene in the freedom fighters. But just demonstrate by the fact that I can't even beat the third biggest person in the world. How am I going to beat like the second biggest person in the world? Okay. 
there's limits to the point what I can do. And right now, I need to build tons of artillery. Like, we're gonna be on constant, non-stop building of artillery. Because that's really where we, where we failed as a nation. It's really where the artillery came in. By the way, I'm gonna annex you. Just so I can have cleaner borders. For future reference, okay? Just so you, just so you guys know. I, I don't want to scare you guys just in case if something impossible comes up. But I'm probably gonna annex you. So, because that, that looks pretty weird right there. And you're like, ah, son. And here it comes. Here comes a massive, like, rebel problems for, like, the next couple years. Alright, but luckily, I still got decent amounts of army to fight them with. Um, the Jacobsons are just being, are just being pissy just because they want to be pissy. They're not really, they, they don't even really want anything right now. They're just like, uh, uh, uh. It's like, so pathetic. Like, so pathetic. Alright. Go deal with them, though. Alright, at the same time, let's increase our... Let's finally increase our fort levels to be officially ranked. Because we need to do that. Alright. And... You guys get right there. You guys get right there. And, let's see. With our army right now, it's basically... It's basically really good. And we're going to need to actually take down some of the tax reforms to get us out of this stump right now um yeah that's not that's not gonna fly if tennis thinks it's gonna free itself like that it's not gonna fly by me um let's see we're gonna have to declare war on Benin just because just because I like nicer borders and it'd be much nicer to have nicer borders than not to have nicer borders um apparently there's a war going on between Italy and the two Sicilies I want to join in on this. If, if I could join in, like right now, I would totally join in. Alright. And our troops should be able to win this. Most likely. You. Yeah, there we go. I was about to say, if we lost that, I'd be so mad. Guys, go attack. Because these guys are going to charge in like idiots. Yeah, charge in like idiots and not be able to fight them. Let's go destroy them. Yeah, just everyone work together. Everyone work. The, the basic, the basic premise of this is teamwork. Teamwork, people. Teamwork. Okay. All right. We're gonna take over this. All right. Give me in, you guys, another second. Okay. Sorry about that again. I'm having, I'm having really good family talks today. So let's see. Let's decrease relationships again. You guys are really happy with me. That's, that's a sad part. It's like, is I know you guys are really happy. I mean, you guys are really glad to be like little buddies of mine, but. Sadly, this is this relationship is not meant to be because I'm a European. I, I don't exactly make friends with African nations. I mean, historically speaking, we don't exactly like you kind. We don't really like your kind. So, yeah, bye bye. <laughs> okay, so it seems like conservatism is still very much prevalent in my nation, which is good. I don't like anything else in my nation at this point. Um. The Jacobson Rebels are just kind of being a nuisance, not really being a threat, just a nuisance. Like, if they were an actual threat, maybe I would forgive them, but they're just being a nuisance right now. Um, while we are going to go conquer Benin, because why the heck not? Yeah, we could do that. Getting 250 regular clothes is actually pretty good. So I, I'm pretty sure that's where most of our problems lie. Just, yeah, just keep building more stuff in Vienna. We are, like I said, we are on a non-stop building of artillery in Vienna. I'm really not kidding you. We are not stopping. Um, looks like Italy is also going to destroy the two Sicilies. I figured as much. They were the stronger of the two. So we're soon going to see a completely united two Sicilies. Also on the same note, it seems like the, the Egyptians were completely and utterly duped. With the fact that, yeah, let's get to 40% tri triple minimum wage. It's actually pretty good for us. Um, but it seems like the Ottoman Empire is officially united again in a very weird and formulaic fashion. And we might have to do something about that. I mean, seriously, I don't like that. I don't like the fact that they're all united and, and stuff. Okay, let's go see. Just keep building more and more cannons. I'm not, I'm really not stopping building those cannons. Because those cannons are really effective in this game. That's one of those units that you really should pay attention to. Alright, you guys. Justify a war. Can we establish a protectorate? Good. We're going to establish a protectorate over all of you guys. 
even if I do take the full infamy hit, which I highly doubt I will, um, I'll still be able to survive. Let's see. How are you guys? You're just Republican guards. That means you guys are just Jacobson, Jacobsons, whatever you want to consider. You guys are just being boring people. Okay. France, on the other hand. Okay. Now that we got a free moment, let's go start upgrading all of our, our forts again. Because now I got a personal blood feud out with the stupid Italians. So, let's see. I hate France, guys. In this campaign, I hate France for multiple reasons. One of the reasons is the fact that they have they didn't join that one war which completely screwed us over I mean twice I mean it screwed us over like twice and then they also helped the uh, Sardinian Piedmont grow which I don't know why they did that because Sardinia is most likely not gonna be their ally like Sardinia usually becomes like the German ally so what they're basically doing is screwing themselves in the long run so I hope you're happy I hope you're happy see they're not even friends with anyone right now so yeah by the way, we probably should become friends with them. Yeah. We have absolutely no one that really likes us right now. But on a side note, yeah. The French are now my official uh, enemy. More enemies than the Germans were. I mean, the Germans were just doing their job in the, in the crisis. They were just fighting on whatever side. But the French, they could have actually done something during that crisis. Uh, I also kind of blame the Russians too. But I can't really attack the Russians at this point. Because apparently they're allied with the UK. What the heck, game? What the heck? Ah, uh, okay. This should be a pretty easy war. Don't me. Yeah, just accept the simulation cultures. Uh, the Austrian flag and tax reforms. Good job, people. You guys realize what tax reforms were. Now I can finally get back to forty percent. Forty percent taxes. I like. I like to go to thirty-eight. 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 Yeah, we can go about thirty-eight. Yay! We can go about thirty-eight taxes. And look at that. Look at these stats right now. We're doing pretty good. I, I also should probably mention that we are doing pretty good right now, like, our industry is not, like, failing, and we're about to get a major other tax reform boost because of the Bangladesh menace, everyone, because we all know that those guys, they're coming for us! I know for some reason, in some way, in some form, I know those guys are coming for us, and I know they're coming for us. Yeah. Alright. With that, I'm also going to increase my complete tariffing to the point where no more tariffs, we're officially no longer tariffing any of my country, which is awesome. And that means most factories should be able to grow at a pretty good rate. Um, are we subsidizing factories at a major amount right now? No. We're not, it's not too big at this point. It's not to the point where it's like overly cumbered. And with that, we can actually decrease taxes to like 36. Yeah! 36% taxes! Okay. And keep building more and more English artillery. Okay. Let's see. Does that balance out this unit? Uh, kind of. Yeah, it does. So, you guys get to move. Uh, actually, let's go build one more. Once we get one more unit inside here. Actually, you know what? You know what I keep forgetting to build? And I'm so sorry of this. I should actually start building more engineers. Because engineers are also pretty important. Um... You guys, no, you move over here to Treviso, you move over here, yeah, you stay right here, I need you guys down here just in case those Ottomans try to do anything sneaky. Yeah, and then there's Italy, I should, yeah, I should probably become friends with Italy, Italy's like the only friend I can actually have in this entire game. Like, everyone else basically hates me in some way or some form, so let's try to become friends with them. And, by the way, I will eventually conquer this back, it's just, it's gonna take me a little bit to do that. Um, yeah, my, my iron deposits, my iron deposits, and I don't take that from nobody. Alright, you guys. I should be able to declare war, right? No, got 91%, almost there though. Almost there to declare war. Flashpoint, factory efficiency, everything's starting to heat up now. Oh man, I'm also getting early railroad night now, because this is a good time. There we go, annexation. Let's, let's do this, Benin. <laughs> uh, status protectorate, don't need to call any of my allies. This is going to be a quick war no matter what we do. <clears throat> and let's see, who we at war with so I kind of know. Alright, no one of importance. As usual. We should be able to, we should be able to outseed whatever they seed. So, I believe if I calculate this correctly, we should be able to outseed them before they even get close to us. So let's go right here. Yeah, we're, we're sieging way faster than they're being able to seed. So, we don't even have to engage them, man. That's good, guys. That's good. So, 
Let's see. Somebody Egypt is having trouble. I really don't care. Like, I don't really care about Egypt. Egypt is never one of my high priorities. Like, it's never like, oh, let's care about Egypt. Yeah, totally. Let's care about Egypt. We're totally going to care about Egypt. All right. We're still, <laughs> we're still gaining it faster than they are right here. Oh, wait. No, we aren't. Okay, then let's go kill some of these guys. Do, do, do. There we go. <laughs> that's all we have to do to, like, make sure they don't, like, conquer any of my land. Of course, I don't really care because that's going to be done in a second. So once they give me that little pop-up for peace, I'll go send it to them. All right, let's go combine these guys. Detach one soldier. All right, and then let's go see. You guys are going to be sent over here, and then you guys are now going to be the new are now going to be the new center of attention for me. All right. Ah, let's get that going. Keep building. Just keep. We're, we're, we're constantly. We're just gonna keep constantly putting orders in for more artillery because you know what? We need artillery now. Now is about the time when we should get some artillery. Um, we could get nationalism and imperialism, which justification, efficiency, and national focus will be pretty nice. Plus colonial migration. It's actually going to become a big deal here very, very soon. So I'm actually going to do that. So let's see. Get you guys up and running. Destroy whatever units are not useful. Okay. Um, we just need about two more units for this, actually. That's pretty good. Okay, and let's see. Um, we could probably stop... Yeah, this province is now doesn't need bureaucrats. That's good. Let's see. What other province does need bureaucrats? This province... Uh, oh, I guess that's so nice to have, like, everyone... Everyone really, really, like... Everyone really, really green. My, the good thing about this is that my empire is mostly all green. Which is really nice to see. So, anything I learned from this is that green is good. Green is good in almost every case. In terms of lights, color, and... Prosperity. Green is good. Let's see. Let's wait. There we go. Get this. Propose peace. Annex. Huzzah! So, yeah, you guys, stop invading my empire now. Expand this. And expand this. Expand this. Because we need to start making sure our African provinces are also pretty dang powerful. Like, I'm going to make sure my African provinces are pretty powerful. And look at that. We got our own little African nation over here. Expand this, expand this. Actually, just control expand. Because I want to make sure every single region over here expands. Uh, you guys, right here. Go right here. Go get more accustomed to this. I think we only need, like, two units. If I remember correctly. Let's see. Yeah, two units. So that means I'm just... What I'm going to do to balance that out is I'm going to build, like, one troop in Vienna. And then that way... We will still be able to, uh, actually I'll probably need to build two troops in Vienna to keep that balanced. But right now we're seriously building up major, like, army men. I'm in, I'm on a non-stop, like, recruitment run right now. I am, uh, frankly enough, angry. Okay, and just build, like, four Hussiyas, because I don't know how many, like, of my troops I'm just going to have to, like, put all these armies in. Just build four of them, and... Let's see, what else can we do? Uh, they're not worth it. That's definitely the truest statement I've ever heard. They're not worth it. Okay. Italy, you guys, please don't be so angry with me. We could be buddies. At least for now, until I want to backstab you in the back. Because you guys have a decent militaristic force, which scares me. Already. I mean, you guys have a decent militaristic force already, and we haven't even really begun. Oh my goodness, Egypt, you guys actually took some land from the Ottomans. Wow, that's amazing. Okay. Next thing, though, we have to do is... Hmm. I'll get that. Uh, there'll be an event. If you guys are wondering why I haven't gone off to Bosnia yet, when I've had so many opportunities, don't worry. Bo a Bosnia event will actually fire to help me get that, but for right now, we don't need it. So supply limit-wise, where is this going to be good? Get right here, then. All right, we want to make sure we hit the good supply limits. Everyone's building as soon as possible. Yeah, go send one unit right there, because there's usually, like, there's usually, like, I usually have to deal with a lot of, like, hussier problems. There we go. Six, two, six. That's a, not the best army compilation, but that's good enough to the point where it's not going to fall apart. Okay. Which is, I guess, the general idea. Alright, let's see. I could start also working on Sweden at this point. 
which I hopefully I don't think that they're gonna become a great power so that's good and well guys I think that's the end of today's episode so I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time